Good morning, San Francisco. I am on the West Coast and I will be showing you my morning routine. I wanted to make this morning routine a little different than my other routine, or a bit different than my other latest routine videos. I did want to make this one a vlog style. So I will be showing you guys what I do in the morning while I'm traveling. I personally love watching routine videos, but I think it's even more interesting to see how people stick to their routines when they are not at home. And as someone who travels for like half of the year, this is very critical to me because I'm a routine person. If I don't get my sleep, if I don't work out, if I don't do my skincare, if I don't have just my morning to myself like I do when I'm at home, I am going to be unproductive. And when you travel a lot for work, when you travel a lot for fun, whatever it might be, having the sense of like stability and similarity and just routine that you bring from your home, I think makes the transition easier. And it doesn't make me feel like I'm like constantly living out of suitcase and not like settled. Like I feel settled because I'm doing the things that I would normally do when I was at home. I was traveling as much as I do, and I was just like waking up whenever, not working out, and like waking up and being on the go right away, it would give me so much anxiety. <laughs> so I physically cannot do that. Anyways, I am in San Francisco. I just got here yesterday, and I was in LA for a little bit. I was in Newport Beach for a little bit and I'm gonna be here for a few days and then I'm doing a road trip down the coast with my sister who is getting here this afternoon. Last night, it's just me, baby. I am staying at the One Hotel, which is by far the nicest hotel I have ever stayed at. And I booked it with my American Express Platinum, which I will talk about in a second. This is not sponsored, but I just love this credit card so much. And in the spirit of this being a travel video, I'm gonna talk about how you guys can save and get these little travel hacks. I like to wake up at 6 a.m., especially on the West Coast because everyone, my whole team is on the East Coast. So I already feel naturally behind, which is so bad. Like, I don't know, people who live on the West Coast that work with East Coast team members, do you guys just feel like you're constantly behind? Like I'm waking up at 6 a.m. and although 6 a.m. is early, I feel like I'm already waking up late because it's 9 a.m. back at home. And I'm like, oh my God, everyone's working already. I just feel very behind, so I need to wake up early. And I also don't wanna be super jet lagged when I go back home. I wanna kind of like wake up at the same time and at a reasonable time. So anyways, I'm gonna get up and I am going to wash my face and do my skincare routine. This is the setup, so I do have my toothpaste, or my toothbrush, and my makeup remover there, my teeth whitener, cleanser, tweezers, toothpaste, teeth whitener box. But I try to keep everything in my toiletry bag. This is the best toiletry bag. I'll have it linked below. It's just from Amazon, but I've never been able to store more than I can in here. When I went to Europe, I was able to store my full-size shampoo, conditioner, all my hair products, all of my skincare, all, like everything. I have my exfoliating pads up here. I usually will put my tweezers in there. In this section, I have my leave-in conditioner and I'll put like my toothbrush or razors in here. I literally have everything. I have what I'm gonna gel my hair back for a slick back bun, my rose water toner, my moisturizer, deodorant, all of my serums. I have a face mask in here. I have my eye cream, razors, hair oil, literally everything and there's still room and then on this side i have two hair brushes it literally fits everything and then i have like my little hair clips for when i do my hair you absolutely need this if you are someone that travels a lot i wanted to take a quick second and thank today's sponsor which is squarespace i am here in san francisco on a work trip for my startup rella i've also decided to make it a vacation but it would not be possible without squarespace because squarespace is how we have built our entire website and it's the first thing customers investors literally anyone sees when they look at rella squarespace has the most customizable templates i would trust them with anything that i'm doing literally anything if you have freelance services you can use squarespace 
I have used other website builders before, my team has used other website builders before, and nothing is as easy and pretty as Squarespace. This is what our website looks like now, but we are changing it up again, and it's so easy to change. We don't have to hire anyone, we don't have to do any code, it's literally so simple, and if you want 10% off your purchase, you can use my code NatalieBarboo at checkout or go to squarespace.com slash NatalieBarboo. I'm going to be headed to the gym. I like to choose hotels that have gyms because I don't have class pass or anything like that. So I don't want to rely on workout classes when I travel. And also workout classes can get so expensive. Like a singular workout class is like $40 nowadays, which is just criminal should be investigated i think anyways i'm not trying to pay that every single day that i work out and i want to stick to my schedule so this week i've been pretty good about working out i worked out yesterday i worked out on friday and today's wednesday so really i only skipped the weekend and monday and monday was a holiday so but anyways i i guess i did technically like hike and stuff over the weekend so I guess I did work out, but I didn't do like my normal schedule. So I'm going to go downstairs to the gym and I'm going to do my workout. I do form by Sammy Clark. I love it. I think it's the best workout and it's just a 30 minute quick little workout. And I haven't checked out the gym down here, so I'm excited to see it, but I think it's probably going to be nice knowing that the one hotel gyms usually are. And then it's like, I mean, it's not a nice day. It looks actually very cold and the weather in San Francisco is always awful. No offense to anyone that lives here. I hate the weather here. Uh, I can just see the fog rolling in and it just like looks really cold outside. And I honestly didn't pack that properly for the cold, but I do have a sweatshirt and, and I guess I can throw on my leather jacket or something. That's a look. Um, and I'm gonna go for a little walk because whenever I'm traveling, I gotta take advantage of being in a new city. Like I'm not someone that just wants to like sit in the hotel room. I wanna be out and about and like see where I'm staying. And so I will probably take a walk outside. I could potentially run. I'm trying to see like where people run over here. Like I'm right by the water. So I do think it would be pretty. So maybe I'll go on a run or just a walk. Who knows? But I'm excited. And first workout is done. Guys, the sun came up. Kind of, and it looks so pretty out. Look at this view. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I know it's not the Golden Gate Bridge, but it is beautiful. I'm so happy I'm staying here. Honestly, a nice hotel makes a big difference. I'm not gonna lie. I'll show you guys a little hotel tour, even though it's a little messy. Okay, so this is the front door. You walk in, and I just love how big these hotel rooms are. Also, I'm staying here during the week and not a weekend, which makes it a lot more affordable. Um, but anyways, you have like your little coat rack here, little bench, you can put like your suitcase on there. The bathroom is pretty big, especially for a hotel, but I mean, even just for like a normal bathroom, you have your shower. Um, one underrated thing about hotel bathrooms is the ones that have a pumpable hand soap. I don't know why hotels have the bar of soap to wash your hands with, but I feel like I'm never getting clean. Does anyone know why these are not like common use? Like, is this that much more expensive? This makes the biggest difference. This is what I look for. This makes a five star hotel to me. You go into the room here. I have my suitcases on the floor, my backpack, my jacket. Um, the bed's not made and I'm not someone that makes the bed in hotels. I don't know if you guys are, but that's what room service is for. So the bed is really pretty though. I love just like the look of it. Like this is definitely a good inspo for like, if you want a peaceful, calm home. Uh, you have your TV, all of the snacks, a little office, which is nice. I love all of the storage that this hotel comes with. And then the couch with the beautiful view. 
and your bedside table but yeah i just think that this hotel thought of everything and everything's so comfy like the sheets are comfy this couch is comfy you probably shouldn't have a third person sleep here but like you totally could because it's super comfortable and i'm obsessed i just showered i did not wash my hair today because whenever it's greasy i use that as an opportunity to slick it back so did a little slick back ponytail situation wearing the skims dress it's definitely cold out though so i'm gonna have to throw on a jacket um i didn't pack too great for this trip if i'm being honest like i just hate packing so didn't get to pack that great but it is like 8 45 nine ish right now so i am gonna get the day started but again i feel so behind like it's already noon back at home so i'm like scrambling i feel like even though it's a pretty normal time to start the day my first call is at 11 a.m this morning so i'm just gonna kind of go on my computer see who i'm talking to what i need to prep for make my to-do list and i think i'm gonna work up here actually i don't think i'm gonna go downstairs yet and then breakfast ends at 11 so at around like 10 15 10 30 i'll probably go downstairs and get my breakfast because i actually get a free breakfast every day that i'm here up to 60 dollars so a free breakfast which is really exciting and it's because i booked this hotel with my american express platinum card again this is not sponsored but i'll have the referral link down below i know there's a really high annual fee i think it's something like 900 dollars or something like that it is a very expensive annual fee but if you travel it is so worth it like even just this one trip alone you get 200 dollars back in if you book a luxury hotel from them so this is a luxury hotel so i got 200 dollars already back to my credit card I get $60 breakfast every day that I'm here. I'm only here for two days, but still, I get $60 breakfast. I get $100 in credit um, for food and bev at the hotel, and that's like just with this one trip alone. I've also been able to get discounts on flights. I rented a car this trip, and I got a discount on the car rental, so I rented it from Hertz, and American Express is a partner, so I did get a discount. Like, there's so many, so many different amenity not to mention when you go to the airport the american express lounges i think are really nice and you get food and drinks there for free which i think is worth it if you travel a lot so if you are someone that travels a lot and stays at hotels i do like the american express i also use my Ch chase sapphire just to also rack up points for hotels and flights as well but you don't get as many of like the perks like the breakfasts and late checkout and all of this stuff that like american express gives you and like the lounges so american express i feel like is a little bougier it's a little more of those amenities whereas chase it's just like if you want points to like purchase things which i think is also really great which is why i have both and then i also have a city american airlines card and that's my business card and that's great because i can book flights with points and i get a ton of points for flights so for someone like me travel is the number one priority when i'm looking at credit cards i do not care about cash back i don't care about like random perks to like restaurants and all that stuff which by the way american express does have as well but for me it's all about the travel because that's such a big part of my life so i'll have the american express and the chase card down below if you guys are interested in applying i highly recommend both of them i think the fees are well worth everything that you get if you are someone like me and travels a lot anyways i'm gonna sit down do some work and then i am going to go downstairs and get some breakfast so yeah i gotta Get in work mode, guys. I am ready for the day and I have just been sitting here starting my work and working on my computer. So I am going to end the morning routine here, but pretty much the rest of the day, especially when I'm traveling, I'll try to book in meeting pers- in meeting persons. In person meetings. So I do have one today and I did rent a car, so I will be heading over there. And then I also will try to like schedule my Zoom meetings if I do have any of those all stacked together. So I'm not like running in between in person meetings and Zoom meetings. So I'm figuring out my to-do list for the day and then i am going to actually head out to palo alto today and meet with an investor 
slash just someone that I like to network with. She's really, really sweet and I can't wait to meet her in person. Let me know what your travel routine looks like or if you like these morning routines and which style do you like better? Because my last morning routine, which did pretty well, that one was more like voiceover. I just kind of like took the camera around my day. This one was definitely a bit more chatty. So let me know which one you prefer, but thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed this morning routine. I will start vlogging this trip now it is wednesday so it'll kind of be like a week in my life wednesday to sunday and i can't wait to show you guys so be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like that and let me know what other types of videos you want to see all right guys thanks so much for watching see you guys later